like I said, we got to get prepared for uh, Denver now. You know, every game, the games we won, the games we lost is behind us. And, you know, we got to, you know, prepare to win the next game because it's, it's important. DeJounte and the Spurs face number three in the West Denver today in a key contest in big board sports. Dallas Cowboys wide receiver Amari Cooper wants to be a Cowboy for the rest of his career and he made good on that promise during the offseason when he signed a five-year $100 million contract extension which made him the highest paid wide receiver in the NFL overall even though he could have made more with Washington and his $20 million a season is second only to Julio Jones of the Atlanta Falcons who makes 22 mill a season and his first interview since the Cowboys reported to their training camp at the star in Frisco. Cooper said he worked out with QB Dak Prescott on multiple occasions despite the COVID-19 pandemic during the offseason because Dak has a football field in his own backyard. Yeah, we have. Yeah, he uh, just recently finished it and we we've been there a couple of times. We've all been getting together pretty consistently um, for months now. Um, working on our route running, working on the offense and everything like that. So we've been we've been getting a lot of work in, um, getting that timing right as if we were, you know, doing a mini camp or OTAs. With the addition of Oklahoma wide receiver C.D. Lamb to go with vet Michael Gallup, Coop believes the expectation is to have three 1,000 yard wide receivers this season. Over in Texans training camp, former Cowboys slot receiver Randall Cobb is getting acclimated with his new team. That's after he signed a three-year, $27 million contract with the Texans following his one season in Dallas where he got paid $5 million. Cobb will be essential to the Texans offense after Bill O'Brien traded DeAndre Hopkins to the Arizona Cardinals. That did not involve a number one draft pick. In just the last three seasons now, Cobb will be able to suit up with three of the best quarterbacks in the league. Aaron Rodgers at Green Bay, Dak in Dallas, and now Deshaun Watson in Houston, which will likely help out Watson. I think all three are elite quarterbacks. And, uh, you know, one thing about Deshaun, watching him on tape uh, whenever I was making my decision is just his accuracy and his ability uh, to, to make plays. Uh, you know, you look at what he's done uh, just in his first three years. Uh, you look at the course of his career from high school. Uh, he's a winner. He's found a way uh, to, to win on the biggest, the biggest stage at every level. And I think he has that ability. And I, I think being able to take all the experience that I've, I've gained playing with a Rodgers and a Prescott over the years uh, and being able to give him, um, you know, some of that knowledge that I've been able to receive from those guys and, and pass that along to him, I think would be beneficial to him. And the Spurs are back in action today, early 3 p.m. Tip with the Denver Nuggets. Bryn Forbes remains out with right quad tightness, and Marco Bellinelli is probable with a left foot sprain. Guys, go Spurs, go. Yep. So 3 o'clock today, noon tomorrow. Yeah, weird noon schedule. Friday. Okay. All right, you know our friends over at SA Live, they love food, they love fun, but they're going to take it up a little, little notch here. They're going to add some dancing to all the food. Got to work off all the the food yeah. fun. We, we hear there might be some furry friends as Ooh. well. We have David Elder and Fiona today. What else is going on? Oh, I tell you, get ready for a wild time on today's show. That's right. It's not only Wednesday, it's a wild Wednesday. And Fiona, that means that you went on a safari today. You bet I did. <laughs> and you don't have to travel far to experience that safari. We take you to Natural Bridge Wildlife Ranch, where you can take your family to see animals up close from the safety of your own vehicle. And we're going to tell you how you can help out conservation efforts while you're there. Just watch out for the ostriches, OK? There now, you go. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and wait till you see this contraption. It's a bike, but wait for it. It's a blender as what? well, where you can mix up some tasty margaritas and burn a few calories while you're doing it. And Jen's going to be out there live today. I don't know. I don't. Is that like drinking and driving? I think it's like the safe alternative, we'll be right? Breaking a sweat, a margarita sweat. <laughs> yes. Speaking of burning calories, these ballerinas must burn a ton. The San Antonio Youth Ballet is going to be putting on a special performance this holiday season, and we're giving you a sneak peek. So talented, man. All right, plus, you know I'm always down for a new foodie spot. This place in Kerrville, and their food might be a little upscale, but their atmosphere is much more casual, where you can walk in with your flip-flops on and have some fancy comfort food with your family. And speaking of food, did you know it's National 
Oyster day. Do you love a good oyster? I love oysters. So I have a really special way I like. I like ice cold oysters, but I'll share with you guys here in a little bit how I like my oysters. But it's a, it's a very polarizing topic yeah, though, right? people either love it or they don't. So how do you feel about oysters? Take them or leave them. Share your comments and vote in our polls on Facebook and Twitter. And later on in the show, David has a big announcement you don't want to miss. That's right. All that and so much more coming up in just a few minutes on SA Live. On our way to a hot day, it's already 92 degrees, so it's already hot, so forecast verifies. <laughs> Tomorrow, it's going to be hot as well. We'll see a start around 76 with some clouds, but afternoon sunshine. And then a heat wave as temperatures climb to near 102 by Monday. That means very little chance for rain in the forecast as well. It's a cool slice of watermelon there. Oh, yeah. good. All right, that's it for now. So the question was, do you like oysters? I love oysters. Do you? I like them raw, I like them fried, and I, I love them grilled with Parmesan and butter. Golly, you're like an oyster connoisseur. I am. That is one well, thing I adore. How about have, you? You can have mine. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Dave and Fiona. Dave just did a snort. <laughs> You're going to be okay? <laughs> David right. made David snort. Are y'all ready? <laughs> ready? Ready to get started? Because your we, show's going to start we, right now. We're going to pull it together. <laughs> <laughs> it's something everyone has to try at least once. Where they're serving up this seafood delicacy for National Oyster Day. Plus, a wild adventure made for social distancing, where you can go on your own safari, of course, in the comfort of your own car. And are you looking for a way to spoil yourself? Well, this fancy meal is worth the short drive. It's today on SA Live. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from the KSET 12 studios, this is SA Live. Oh, happy Wednesday. Well, it looks like well, that just kind of glitched right there. But we are getting ready for a performance by the SA Youth Ballet. You'll see that a little later in the show. Good afternoon. I'm Fiona Gorstiza. And I'm David Elder, filling in for Mike Osterhage, who is off today. And oysters are something that everyone has to try at least once in their life. And if you haven't yet, then today might be the day that you need to try them because it's National Oyster Day. All I right. Love them. You love them, right? Yes. I, I'm, I'm with, with uh, David Sears over there. You can <laughs> no, have mine. No, no. <laughs> well, you know Seafood's not really your jam, though, right? That's not really your thing. It's not really my thing. Yeah, no. I grew up on an island. Okay, see, yeah. so I, I like My mother's embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> I like oysters when they have, okay, it's this thing called granita, which is basically like flavored shaved ice, uh -huh. okay? And I know it sounds like extra fancy, but if you can get it like that, you get it on top of a raw oyster that's ice cold, you put a little bit of that granita on there, change your life. Absolutely delicious. Really? Really. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, Maybe not for you, but it's right. really good. So we know oysters are a love them, as you can see, or ah, <laughs> kind of food. Okay, so that's our question today. Take oysters or leave them? Head to our Facebook and Twitter pages at SA Live KSAT and, KSAT and let us know. And our Jen Tobias Dresky is out at Me Familia. Jen, have you tried oysters before and what do you think about them? Okay, we've got our oyster shooter, Caesar. Go ahead, cheers. cheers. We'll do a distance cheers. Go cheers. ahead, you take it. How is it? Oh my goodness. Okay, <laughs> no words. Yes, um, I'm not that much into oysters. If they're fried, this is a shooter. I never heard of it. I learned about this today. I got Caesar here with me and we are talking oysters, yes, because it's National Oyster Day, but we are also talking National Night Out because yesterday was National Night Out and here at Mi Familia, they are continuing on with this block party, socially distance safe block party. And Caesar, talk to me about what is gonna be happening out here. Yes, definitely. So as you know, yesterday was uh, National Night Out. Uh, so we are continuing this party out here. Socially distant, of course. Uh, we have our margaritas here with our margarita uh, bikes. Uh, we're gonna have some uh, outdoor games as well, uh, such as uh, putt-putt and cornhole. Uh, we have some uh, really good barbecue as well. Uh, they're gonna be some beef ribs, pork ribs. And then we have some music as well, too. I love that, Caesar. And this tent, you know, it's so nice and shady under here. Just really a good family-friendly time while keeping your social distance. We're all looking for those things to do 
outside, right? Season. Yes, exactly. So we're talking bikes. Now we've been teasing this up yesterday, talking about what in the world is a margarita bike. Uh, Dusty's showing you there what those are. And we are here gonna have our own little competition. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our favors, our ice, and then we're gonna see who can blend it up the fastest. Are you ready, Caesar? I All am right. ready. So let's get our ingredients first. All right. And he's probably better at this than I am. Now, here's the classic margarita. How beautiful is that? So we got our lime juice. And who doesn't love a margarita, right? It's so hot. <laughs> oh, yes. You know, margaritas are great to refresh yourself. All right. I think I'm gonna go with the mango. Here we go. Mango's the way to go, but I'm going strawberry. You know, I love the freshness. What but is the tip to a great margarita? Oh, I don't know if that's too much. Well, definitely the tequila. Oh yeah, that's strong. <laughs> okay. And some more lime juice. I'm just going at it. All right, so we got this. You ready? Yes. All right. We're closing up our blenders, now we're going to our bikes. All right. The competition shall begin. So this bad boy, <laughs> right there. I hope I did it right. Megan will correct me if it's wrong. Okay, so we're getting on. <laughs> okay. Be careful now. <laughs> now, who, you wanna count us down? Yes, all right. I'm gonna ready? take this phone, my phone's gone. Sorry guys. All right, Three, ready? Okay. two, one, go. That is it. All right. And you can do this too. This is here for guests to try out. Yes, right? exactly. Wipe down after every use, of course. But look, I think I I think I got my perfect margarita. Take a look at that. All right, cheers to you guys. I'm gonna toss it back to you. Good job. I'm out of breath. Time for margarita. <laughs> yes. It's a good thing you have that right there. You know, you know, we came up with <laughs> an improvement on that bike, right? That's right? Yeah. You can do that. But then as you're biking, you're drinking you're it at drinking the same time. It's just going to keep making more. <laughs> we'll just keep, we'll just keep going. But that's awesome. I like that. All right. Well, oysters and everything that lives in the ocean. So from the ocean to a wonderful safari, right? Yes. You can get up close and personal with some of the most exotic animals around from the comfort of your own car. Natural Bridge Wildlife Ranch with social distancing before we even knew what it was. That's ways to enjoy some time outdoors and make some memories with the family, especially during these times, is to come out here on your very own safari at Natural Bridge Wildlife Ranch. And joining me right now is Tiffany Secting. And when people come out, they are coming out to one of the best safari parks in the United States. And that's claimed by USA Today, right? Oh tell tell them about that honor. It was a huge honor, especially in the company that we were in. Uh, what they do is they nominate the top 20 in the US, which is a huge honor in itself. And this isn't the first time, right? No, last year we landed there as well, so. Yay! All right, now, during these times, of course, social distancing, everybody is kind of doing staycations, road trips, kind of yeah. pulling back on air travel. This is a way that you can really experience a safari right here in South Texas. Right here in South Texas. You know, and you can't go all over the world and see these species like you can here. You don't get this close when you go to Africa and you go on a safari. Now, you get to take your own vehicle through, mm -hmm. and for folks who have gone through before, there have been some changes, there right? There have been some changes, and that's what's nice about this experience, that everybody can do what they're comfortable with. If they want to come and drive through, they get the whole experience and drive through in their vehicle. You know, you can also walk around. You, you may miss a few of the species in our walking area, but if you're comfortable doing that, you know, we just ask that you wear your mask when you do the walkabout area. For the safety of our species, we, we cut out feeding um, by visitors. And so only the animal care staff 
takes care of the animals. Because what we found is that people really are paying attention to more of the behavior instead of, oh, what's up ahead of me that I can feed? Because instead of a bag of, of feed, they are now getting the guide, a yes. little bit of a guidebook. Yes. Or the guidebook. What, what, what we do instead, because for over 30 years, we've given a free bag of food. Well, we didn't want to just totally cut and not give them anything. So instead, they get our, which we've always had, our adventure guidebook, they get that for free. And the nice thing about it is that not only does it help them identify all the animals, it, the education level, because each species, we indicate their level of endangerment. And that brings us to conservation. Yes. And how much you guys do for it. There's different things that we do that most people don't even think of, like, like jewelry that we have in the gift shop. You know, this jewelry is made from snare wire that they get that could harm, obviously it's meant to, to do harm to animals. Well, they, they take that snare wire, they create beautiful pieces of jewelry, and then they make money off of that and, and help make a living for themselves at the same time helping species. So aside from you know the necklaces, mm -hmm. the bracelets, what other you know items at the gift shop could folks you know purchase and be helping out at the same time? Correct. There there you know we have items that are like little figurines that look exactly like ivory wood, but they're actually made out of a, a little tagua nut that falls off of a tree. Um, stuffed animals made out of wa recycled water bottles. We have a new shipment that's getting ready to come in that, that they basically crochet mm -hmm. and you know and it talks about how many of these stuffed animals or these toys that sustain a family. All right, Tiffany, tell folks what they need to know before they come out. Well, you know, in this day of uncertainty, you know, it's always good to look at our website, our Facebook, anything that changes, we put there first. All right, and for more information, of course, on Natural Bridge Wildlife Ranch, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Oh, still ahead on SA Live, we're back out live with Jen, where she's gonna try a brand new way to enjoy those blended drinks. Ooh, that looks tasty. That looked tiring earlier, get it? <laughs> but first, we found our newest date night spot. Why you should try this restaurant if you're looking to spoil yourself or your loved ones. It's next on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. With many destination vacations on hold, right now may be the best time to take a drive to try a different kind of restaurant. That's right. Today we take you to the Texas Hill Country where a family owned business is all about a flip flop atmosphere with elevated eats and sips. Our Jen Tobias Drusky takes you there. started grape juice as a retail wine shop and it was our approach to wine it was just grape juice we were trying to take the snobbiness out of it always used the term five stars and flip-flops so always wanted to have the best of the best but I wanted you being comfortable in here doing it located about an hour north of San Antonio you'll find grape juice owners Carrie and Patrick Wilt are all about sharing their love for wine and good eats the Texas country way. We took things, you know, with a twist. We do a lot of wild game here. Since we're in the hill country, we think it just makes sense. But burgers, sliders, burritos, nachos, but we top it all with wild game. So it's just kind of our twist on things. And many of the bottles you'll find in their retail store are from places they visited. And so to simplify this room, we've broken it down into countries more or less. We have Italy, we have France, we have uh, most of the United States. And now time to eat. From beer cheese nachos with pulled pork, tacos, how about ahi tuna with a side of cream corn? It has pickled carrots on top and avocado. When we realized how popular it was, it was one of those like, why don't we have this on the menu? And we gave the recipe to our staff in the back and then they basically what we call grape juicified it. So we added the smoked jalapenos and kind of kicked it up to another, uh, another degree. To a quail salad. Mango melon salad, this is our seasonal salad of the moment. We change that out about every four to five times a year. 
here. Um, this one has watermelon, cucumber, mint, feta, and a mango dressing. And it, this one is topped with diamond aged quail, which is local out of Bandera. And the special this week, the soft shell crab sandwich with macaroni grape juice style. It is basically macaroni and cheese that's completely 100% addicting. Use a smoked Gouda. And then there's also roasted tomatoes and ham and onions in there as well. So with this panko breadcrumb on top that it's like everything you loved about mac and cheese as a kid growing up, but like just a little bit grown up. Speaking of addicting, these Brussels sprouts, one of the customer favorites on the menu. And you probably never had a Frito pie yes. like this. I always tell people if they're eating it, you better have a nap scheduled. Now we can't get through the entire menu in this story, but you get the idea. Every time you come in here, there's something new on the menu, uh, whether it's the wine list, the beer list, the menu itself. When COVID hit, you know, of course we were all scared, um, but I really wanted to make sure that we just put as much positivity out in the world as we possibly could. So when you come to Grape Juice, you'll see that our windows out front are painted crazy and fun. Um, even our to-go uh, orders, whenever you get a to-go order, uh, it comes with a joke of the day, um, just because we wanted to give you that just one little extra bit. One of the great things about grape juice is that we were kind of already set up for social distancing um, within the restaurant before it was even a thing. There's also an outdoor area where you can sit outside. They also have a to-go wine flight where you can do a pairing and tasting virtually. You call in, you reserve your spot, and on Saturday of the tasting, you come in and you pick up your wines to go. You get six ounces of each wine. There'll be four wines in the package and you'll get a tasting sheet here. And then at seven o'clock Saturday evenings, you go on to our Facebook page and uh, both my wife and I will be there conducting a tasting on the wines. Definitely worth the drive up to Kerrville. Every little dollar helps, whether you're getting a, a cup of coffee from a mom and pop coffee shop, or you're buying a taco from the mom and pop taco stand, or you're coming to Grape Juice and get ordering a case of wine to go. Um, every little bit helps right now just keep the wheel turning in a time where folks are really struggling. Well, I've had such an amazing time experiencing all the delicious food and wine here at Grape Juice. Now they are at 75% capacity, so they do recommend making a reservation if you're going to come out here to the Hill Country. And again, remember the river is just right behind me. For more information, just head over to salive.com and click the As Seen on SA Live tab. Cheers! Jen is all over the place. I know. I was like, did she take the margarita bike up there? That's what I wanted to know. All right. So the owner of Grape Juice, she is actually related to the author of The Secret Garden, Frances Hodgson Burnett. And is there's a new movie coming out this weekend starring Colin Firth. Yes, it's a remake from the novel. And you may remember the 1993 film. And we're going to share that story tomorrow right here on SA Live. All right. Still ahead on the show, a Christmas classic is finding a new way to survive. How you might be watching the Nutcracker live this holiday season. And next, stand up and be counted. Why a local hospital wants to make sure you fill out your census. It's straight ahead. Have you filled out the 2020 census yet? Methodist Healthcare Ministries wants to make sure everyone in Texas gets counted. A complete count will make sure our state receives its fair share of billions in federal funding that is awarded each year based on census results. Joining us now is Jennifer Knowlton, Vice President of Regional Operations for Methodist Healthcare Ministries. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, thanks for having me. What is the connection between Methodist Healthcare Ministries and the census and of course, why you're advocating for it? Absolutely. Methodist Healthcare Ministries is a faith-based nonprofit that is half owner of the Methodist Healthcare System here in San Antonio. And through our work promoting health and well-being throughout South Texas, a 74 county service area, we recognize that health is impacted by more than healthcare. Health happens in community. Health is impacted by where we work, where we live, where we play, where we pray, where we learn. And so for us, the census is fundamentally important. What are the types of programs impacted by the census? So when we think about the census, um, there's, a, there's a larger picture overview, of course, for some of our legislative issues. But really, for, for those of us that live and work in the state, it really comes down to how our communities impacted. 
So you think about the infrastructure of the roads and the bridges and all and the all the infrastructure that helps us get out and about. You think about our classrooms for our children. You think about the public education dollars, Head Start, Women, Infant and Children, the WIC program. You think about insurance opportunities. There are so many factors in our everyday community lives that are impacted by the census. And it's not enough for one person to be counted. Everyone in the state needs to be counted so that we can get those federal dollars that you mentioned earlier. It's critically important that every person residing in the state be counted in the census. How can folks complete the census and what more can they do to ensure a complete count? Thank you so much for asking that question. It is critically important that every person be counted. If you haven't personally taken the census, you can go to 2020census.gov and uh, fill out the census form online. You do not have to have the number that was mailed to you. I intentionally completed the census for my household without the number to make sure that that could happen. There's also, um, there are phone numbers that you can call and we're gonna put those on at the end of this that you can call by phone and just complete the census over phone. And those numbers are available in a number of languages, but it's not enough to do this yourself for your household. You really need to think about those vulnerable populations that you interact with. You need to think about the um, charities or associations that you care about. If there's a nonprofit that you donate to or spend your time with, if there's a group through one of your local associations that you strive to care for, those people, those most vulnerable people are those that are most impacted by our census. And we really each need to make sure that we're making that connection between those vulnerable populations and, and our own work and making sure the census is completed. Everybody knows someone, make sure everyone counts. All right, Jennifer Knowlton, Vice President of Regional Operations for Methodist Healthcare Ministries. For more information on Methodist Healthcare Ministries, head to their website, mhm.org. And to learn more about the census, visit 2020census.gov or call 844-330-2020. Jennifer, once again, thank you so much. Thank you, have a great day. Still ahead on SA Live, just because we're social distancing doesn't mean missing out on the magic of Christmas. How your family can participate in the SA Youth Ballet's Nutcracker performance this year. All right, the kiddos may have their popsicles this summer, but the adults need theirs too. We are here at the patio bar at Mi Familia where they have some drink specials and it's all while social distancing that's coming up. But right now, here's a few easy ways to stay healthy brought to you by BMW of San Antonio and the Tobin Center for the Performing Arts. Welcome back to SA Live. Earlier, Jen was out at Mi Familia restaurant out at the rim on the northwest side on the bike blender the last bike time blender. we saw her. That's, that sounds like some really right? crazy exercise machine. I know, it's like the Mad bike Max blender, future right? way of drinking margaritas, the right. bike blender. Well, now she's shaking it up with some refreshing summer cocktail recipes that she's earned after the bike <laughs> blender. Hey there, Jen. Right, I mean, that's the kind of spin class you want to sign up for, right? With margaritas included. Now we are over here at the patio bar at Mi Familia here at the rim. I have George back here. Hey, George. Hey, now these look so refreshing. Tell me what we have here. All right, so what you have here is just some very fruity tropical cocktails right here. So this is going to be your fruit punch deep eddy. That's going to be your deep eddy, but it's going to have with a little bit of a twist of blue curacao. Just give that color. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. And we were talking earlier in our tease about these delicious popsicles for the adults, right? So you're going to show us how to make those right now? Exactly, absolutely. So I'm going to go ahead and get started just with uh, one of the watermelon ones real quick. Okay. So it's very simple. These ingredients, you can get it anywhere at your you know, local liquor store. So get a little bit of ice here going, a little bit of that deep eddy lemon. Now, of course, these are going to be pops, so you definitely want to make sure you put enough alcohol in them so they're nice and fun, but they need to be able to freeze. So ah. you want to do a little bit of juice on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of to that pineapple juice right there. So the key to the juicing and the ice and keeping it frozen, you gotta make sure you have that. Exactly, okay. it's gotta be very well balanced. So gotcha. do a little bit of simple syrup, which is, you know, just your little sweetener right there, your sugar. Get a little bit of watermelon right over here. And now, 
Go ahead. I'm sorry. Okay, go ahead. so no, basically the watermelon that I'm using is just bold watermelon. Now that gives it a sweeter taste. And of course, when it comes to summer, you want to have those tropical fruits on there for you. So, mm -hmm. and then of course, you got to give it that little quick shake. And for summer, these are perfect. You have a limited menu out here. I have to say, I already sampled this one here. It's so refreshing. It makes it feel like you're at the coast, right? We could all dream. <laughs> we can't go there maybe, but we can still have some fun out here. So you pour that in and you freeze them up. Yep, absolutely. Then you just cap them up in there, put them in your freezer. And seriously, you can take these anywhere. Take them to the pool, take them just pretty much anywhere you want to have a little pool party. Keep them nice and cold what right there for you. idea. I mean, it's going to be so hot, right, for like a few months here in Texas. In the next few, probably three or four months, uh, it doesn't get cold here, right, for a while. But you also have an Aguas Fresca over there for the kiddos. But you can add some, I call mama juice to that as well, <laughs> right? Absolutely, yeah. So what we have here is going to be our watermelon agua fresca. Now this right here is what we do is we use a spiked agua fresca. So you can use your vodka, you can use your tequila, any kind of spirit that you like, and you're all set. All right, well, he's going to continue making some of these lovely adult uh, popsicles there. Cheers to you from a distance, my friend. <laughs> and the lovely thing here is that they have the patio seating out here so you can come out sit down outside if you prefer not to go inside a restaurant keep keep that social distance and for more information just head over to lafamiliacortez.com i'm gonna sip on this maybe i'll go back on the bike maybe i won't maybe i'll just have some fun here on the patio back to you guys something tells me jen might have a container that size of mama juice, <laughs> mama juice. Mama <laughs> juice baby at all jen if, that, if, if you ever oh, want to yeah. leave tv at any time in your life you open up mama juice <laughs> I swear it'll do really well. That's whenever you want okay. to do that route or do Thank it at the same did. time. Who knows? All right. <laughs> Thanks, Jen. Cheers to that. Uh, I love that <laughs> All right. Next on yes. SA Live, mm. the show must go on. How a local ballet school plans to bring you the Nutcracker this Christmas season and how your child can be a part of the production. Check out any theater website and you'll see a long list of canceled performances due to the pandemic. But one local group knows the show must go on and is finding a one of a kind way to keep entertaining and keep their art alive. Danielle Campbell Steens from San Antonio Ballet School has reopened her studio and is getting ready for this year's Nutcracker performance, but of course with adjustments. Hey there, Danielle. Hi. <laughs> so if everything stays the way it is, how can people watch the beloved Nutcracker Ballet? Uh, this year, I thought it was uh, especially important with our current reality to be creative and keep the arts alive in San Antonio. And so San Antonio Ballet School and San Antonio Youth Ballet, um, we are planning to do a drive-in version of our beloved classic holiday favorite of the Nutcracker this coming December. So how exactly will that work? We still plan to hold our auditions, um, our community-wide auditions on Saturday, August the 29th. Um, we will be looking for supporting cast members uh, and we will enter into a safe rehearsal process uh, where we will also be doing um, uh, some recording um, so that we can ensure that we have a performance to bring to the community. Um, we also are hoping to have uh, some live um, dancing to accompany the pre-recording. So as far as the drive-through ballet, how are folks just going to pull up and watch? We won't know until the actual time. Um, if our situation continues to improve in San Antonio, we would love to have audience members uh, drive in and be able to watch from their cars. Or if it's safe, um, we could have the option to have um, uh, our uh, audience members watch from uh, seating um, outside of their cars or benches um, or even bring their lawn chair. So your studio is back open. Are classes in person or virtual? We offer both in person and classes online at this time uh, through Zoom. When are auditions for the Nutcracker? I know you talked a little bit about the audition process just a minute ago. Yes. Yeah, so 
Um, our uh, auditions are on Saturday, August the 29th. Registration begins at 1230. They're open to all dancers, uh, performing artists, uh, ages five through adult. And um, last year we had um, a really stellar adult class, uh, adult cast rather. And so I'm looking forward to seeing who uh, might be interested in performing with us this year. Now here's a little bit from one of the past performances from the San Antonio Ballet School. For more information, of course, just head to essaylive.com and click on the As Seen on Essay Live tab. Just beautiful. All right, next on Essay Live, a smile 50 times brighter. Get your teeth checked by someone you trust when Essay Live continues. the body changes as the years go by, and that includes your teeth and mouth. There's a team here in town that specializes in senior dental care with advanced training in dentistry. Joining us today is Lynn Nolf, Chief Operating Officer at 50 Plus Dental. Good afternoon. Hello. All right, you take a decades approach to teeth. What does that mean? Absolutely. Well, when we see a new patient, we never want to look at just what's going on that day. Things are going to change in the years to come. And we all know dentistry is not everyone's favorite place to be or dealing with. So we always look at 10, 20, 30 years down the road. We never want you having to repurchase dentures or what have you because we didn't help plan for your future. We want you to keep what you have now for years to come. So we always look at a decades approach to the patients that we have. So how do you care for seniors and people who are, uh, you know, like facing mobility challenges? Sure, absolutely. And that was one of the, the premises that our practice was built on. You know, you feel a little awkward going into just a traditional dental office. You may come with your cane or a walker or a wheelchair. We even have patients that come in stretchers. And we want to make that an inviting place for them to come to. We have wheelchair lifts here in our practice where you may not want to transfer or maybe you can't transfer out of your wheelchair. It's not a problem for us. We will literally turn your wheelchair around, strap it into the wheelchair lift, and literally lift your chair back and the doctor can see you. You feel safe, we're able to get access, and it just, it works for everybody. What changes have you made to your dentistry to make it safer? Sure, absolutely. Well, a lot of obviously scheduling. Scheduling has been a, a huge change for us. We don't wanna have extra people in the waiting room. Bring only one person with you if you have to bring someone. Um, we have filtration devices in the lobby and all of our operatories. We have multiple waiting rooms in our practice so that not everyone is piled in one area in case someone gets here early or what have you. I mean, then we're doing everything that the CDC and the ADA is requiring of us checking temperatures, we're wearing face masks, goggles, shields, gowns, gloves, everything. So we, we've had quite a few changes here in the practice just to make sure that we're keeping safe and also always thinking of our patient safety as well. And you do custom dentures in your denture lab. Tell us a little bit about that process. Absolutely. Well, Dr. Dirks was actually the dental director over at UT Health Science Center. And we were really um, blessed to be able to have Tom Anthony, who also worked over there, um, come here and he works for us in our own denture lab. So when they 
put their 30 plus years of experience together, we can really create some things that um, maybe your general dentist who doesn't do dentures all the time, um, maybe they're just not thinking outside of the box. They're, they're doing their best, but we like to think outside of the box. Um, you know, looking at different kind of clasps where we're looking at something that isn't metal, or maybe you do need metal. Um, they're always trying to come up with something new and innovative that's going to work for that specific patient. Not everybody's mouth is the same. And we always want to look at your specific needs and custom create something that that's that's all you. You have a special deal for folks watching right now. What can they get when they call today? Absolutely. If you have natural teeth, um, we do have a $99 new patient special that's complete exam and a complete set of x-rays. And sit down, talk to the doctor. Let's come up with, what do you even want? We're never going to be the, the facility who says, oh, you need to whiten your teeth. We want you to look like you came off the red carpet. What do you want? If you have full dentures, come in for a free denture consultation. Absolutely no charge. Sit down with Dr. Dirks. Let us know what your situation is and we can tell you how we can make it better. Thank you so much for your time. Let's get the information up on the screen. Call now to schedule your new patient appointment for exam and x-rays for just 99 bucks or get a free denture consultation. Just call 210-617-4462. And for more information, just head to their website, 50plusdental.com. All right, tomorrow on SA Live, it's time to let off a little steam. Jen goes full lumberjack on, I guess you could call it a stress relieving, axe throwing big adventure. I'm scared. That's right, but she doesn't do anything half axe, I'll tell you that. <laughs> All right, and it's a thirsty Thursday. We stir up some easy to make tequila cocktails, that and more tomorrow at 1 p.m. on SA Live. Stay with us. Your answers to our question of the day are next. All right, earlier, we asked you for National Oyster Day oysters. Take them or leave them. All right, and the first one's from John. What's up, David and Fiona? What's up, John? Hi. I like them <laughs> raw or fried, not picky. I like that style, John. All right, this is from Anna, and she says, charbroiled, raw, or fried. Another oyster lover, okay. I love that. And then Jacob, I never like sea raw food fish, LOL. And then it's a little Kermit. I get what you're doing there, Jacob. I like your style. Checking it. <laughs> He's just no. shaking it. He's like, I don't like it raw. There we go. All but right. Before we go, big announcement. All right. Now, if you've had an opportunity to try the Big Red Beer, and if you haven't, well, guess what? Today at 2 o'clock, that's in, uh, you know, pretty <laughs> soon, okay? You can go on to Isla Street Brewing social media. There's a link up there on the top of their bio on Instagram. I'm sure you could find it on Facebook as well. You click the link, you wait in line, and you can get yourself some Big Red Beer. It is delicious, y'all. I think it's called wild rojo now i think that's what it's called lots I of different you can't call it big yet. red anymore i think big red was like don't use our name in this and then, <laughs> <laughs> but it's wild rojo it's delicious it's really good it's a sour beer but it's a little sweet to it but it tastes like a beer and not very much like the actual soda but a little bit like it. see you know that I mean? was what was i yeah. wondering if yeah. it was sweet or okay. it's, the, it's the perfect blend of okay. every yeah all right well before we go we want to leave you with a little bit of the San Antonio Youth Ballet's performance of the Nutcracker from last year. Enjoy this taste of Christmas in July, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow at 1 p.m. Have a great day. Bye-bye.